Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Metal doors, and I'm just trying to replace the slabs. Sure. Um, and let me see. So I've got, you're probably going to need me to give you, I'm not sure what series it is or what gauge it is. I did take a picture of the label, uh, the metal label on the inside, but I'm not sure if that's going to give me the information I need. It might be you. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to replace their um, their flush mount doors uh, for a commercial setting, and um, I, I think they're just 20 gauge. They're they're nothing special. They don't. There's nothing real requirement. They're just outdoor buildings we have. Um, and they measure uh, 83, like with the tape measure, they measure, measure 83 and a half by 35 and three quarters. Okay, that 83 and a half is unusual. Right. Let me, let me double check and make sure that's what it is. They're old, so they might be too old. Yeah, 83 and a half by 35 and three quarters. That's the actual slab, not the frame. Yeah. So that's no problem. I mean, we can have doors manufactured to that size. Okay. Um, and probably, actually, there's a gap at the bottom of each door, so a half inch, if they come in 83 or 84, wouldn't matter without having to make it special, whatever you guys have that, I don't know if you have stuff that's common that could fit into so that the, slot. Because the there's no thresholds on the bottom, so there is a gap on the bottom anyway, like about an inch and a half. So I've got some room to play with. So the standard net height is 83 and one eighth. Okay, that would work. Well, that's good. Okay, and then uh, and then I, I assume is the 35 and three fourths is that your is that just a um, three foot door? We would call that a three foot door, yes, sir. Okay, okay, good. All right, so um, I'm, let me just go back to my photos and see this pan panel that the label that's on it. Um, Nothing on there is of any interest to me. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, I didn't know if you needed a thickness or whatever. Okay, it, it's a it's a metal door, and uh, so, you know, I'm just looking for whatever is probably the least expensive route. It looks like it's got a metal seam in the middle where it's been folded in, in the inside of the, of the jam area. We call that but a that's center it. seam. Okay. So Amweld has standard locations for their hardware. Um, they right. they have also put their hinge and lock locations at non-standard locations. Oh. The cost of a standard door is about two hundred and fifty dollars. The okay. cost of a non-standard door is about triple that. Okay. So you'd want to check the locations of that stuff um, so that we you knew what you were dealing with. And I could tell okay. you what you hope to have uh, in terms of cost. Um, okay. So if that top hinge is is at, is at seven and three eighths, top of the door to the top of the hinge, then it's likely a standard door. Okay. And um, top of the know, hinge to top of the door frame. Nope. Or door door top opening. Door, nope. Top of the door to the top of the uh, top of the first hinge. Okay. Is seven and three eighths. Seven okay. and three eighths. Okay. And and by the top that top hinge, I'll be able to tell if it's standard or not. Yeah, if it's something okay. other than that, then you certainly have a non-standard door. Okay. Okay. I will I will go and measure that. Um, and then uh, and then it just has a it just has a hole for uh, you know the the door handle or the yeah the the door knob. Um, sure. I'm hoping I would like to uh, and I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if we need it. I'll have to look. But if it's if if they do they make them with dual holes for a deadbolt or would that be something I'd cut after I got it? Um, I would not encourage you to cut it in the field um, because the okay. answer is yes. The factory will prep it. Okay. For a deadbolt at whatever location you require. Okay. Okay. I'll have to check. I'll have to go outside and check the framing too. I don't know if there's a cutout for a, a deadbolt or not. And it's not necessary if it doesn't. I can just put a regular lock door lock on it. Uh, 
Well, you could also put a surface monitor, what we would call a rim-mounted deadbolt, which we stock, like a Seagull-style deadbolt. Yeah, a, a, a bolt style, right? Slide style? No, is that what it is? Uh, although you could also do that. That's called a surface bolt. Okay, um, I have one on there now. I was hoping to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then you probably just want a standard deadbolt. Um, right. You, you could do one where we would prep the door and you'd have to prep the frame. Uh, you know, okay. you could just drill a standard hole that would, you know, then we would have a thimble strike that would go in there. Right. A, um, yeah, so that might work. Um, okay. And if you don't want to drill into the frame, we could supply you with a surface mounted deadbolt um, that you would drill, uh, or that we could drill a hole through the door for the cylinder to come in from the outside. Okay. I see what you're saying. So the deadbolt would be on the other side and it would come into the door? Well, that, the deadbolt that would be on the egress side. Um, yeah. I'm a, yeah, and then you, if you wanted key access on the outside, we would drill a hole through the door for that. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right. Um, well, these are you're giving me all the information I need. So I let me measure this. I I would need two of them, and they're both uh, uh, the handles standing from the outside of the building are on the right. Both of them. Okay. Um, and so if they're standard, then we're looking about 250 bucks. What about shipping? I'm in Utah. Uh, probably about 350 dollars for a couple of doors. Okay. Okay. I take it there's not a there's not a distributor out here for that, right? Not in Utah. Um, I didn't think so. Texas, California, um, but not not that close. That's people don't realize. City slickers like me don't realize how big the West is until you go there. It's, <laughs> right. You know, you know, you could say it's a state over. Well, yeah, that's twelve hundred miles away. So. Right. Right. And Utah's about the size of three states and it the East sure Coast. Is. It sure is. I know that as fact. I was I was cruising through that part of the world in about 96, and there was oh, yeah. a 500-year snowstorm, and I was in the wrong Oh, you're kidding. Coming into the west gate of Yellowstone. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Early days of cell phones, early days, so I had one, and I called the National Park Service. They're like, <laughs> translation, dude. <laughs> You need to turn around. The you know, is it, that's so you, funny you bring that up. <laughs> I was up there that winter, too, and we snowmobiled in on the road, on road? the highway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> I, was in a, I was in a 1996 Chevy Corvette. Oh, um, you're kidding. Brand, brand new car, the first road trip I took in it, and it was harrowing. Once I got out of the east gate um trying to get to san francisco it was, it was just by the grace of god i didn't drive off into the swale and, and that was <sighs> you know pick me up eight days later stiff as a board oh wow yeah i mean from chicago we're not really you know um we don't feel like we take a backseat to anyone when it comes to to snow but there's really no comparison um right to what life is like in the west um, and I've I've experienced it, and that was one hell of a storm. You know, <laughs> Yellowstone was beautiful until it started to come down. When I got to the lodge, I'm like, I need to keep moving because I can see it's coming. Right. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. It, it comes down pretty hard. <laughs> yep. We're actually ha we're actually it's trying to snow on us right now. <laughs> oh so, gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's it's all right. We've had a real mild winter. We need it so. Yeah, so we've relocated to southern Florida, and uh, we've had a brutal winter. There's lots of mornings in the uh, 50s here, so it's – it's. Uh, I mean, oh. you know, the newscast here is like, you know, they talk about, you know, Washington, D.C., and then local events, and then every five minutes the weather guy's talking. <laughs> That's what right. everyone wants to know about here. So it's – yeah. That's crazy. It, interesting. But it's a beautiful part of the country there, too. It, it is. So you know, it's it, – yeah. Yeah, so these ship, it looks like this would ship from North Carolina then. Um if they're if they're custom, they're going to. Otherwise, um it's just going to be a matter of what warehouse is closest. Oh, the, awesome. The, the Pacific Northwest, the West Coast or in Texas. Oh, perfect. Who has what we need? Okay, awesome. So you would just have it shipped directly from whoever's got it closest from to you. From the manufacturer directly to you, yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, um let me uh, your name was Richard, is that right? Yes, sir. 
Okay, let me get let me go out and measure this. Unfortunately, I can't carry the phone with me. It won't reach that far without dropping on you. So let me make sure I'm, I'm measuring this right and then uh, give you a call back. And uh, is there a direct number? Or is it same the 844 number? Just call that. If I don't answer, okay. answer, just ask for me. Okay. All right. Let me go out and make sure I got the measurements right. And then if I can get those ordered today, that'd be great. How much longer are you there today? Uh, about another hour, you're... but... Okay. No, nothing to stress over. I'm, I'll be here in the morning and the whole nine okay. yards. Okay. All right. I'll give you a call back. Let me make sure that this is uh, that the they're, we're standard, and then we'll get a couple of these ordered and on the way. Thank you, sir. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.